Brent Davidson, you were born in 1986 in, uh, in Manitoba, Canada. First of all, you came uh, fresh from Boros in uh, the Swedish All Svenskan League. And uh, welcome to the Blue Fox, the team uh, that uh, is defending the Danish Championship. Thanks, it's uh, great to be here. Uh, like you said, they're the Danish Cup champions. Uh, so it's exciting for this year. Uh, we want to defend it again and uh, excited to get the season started. Exactly what persuaded you to make the change from, from Sweden to Denmark? Uh, one of my teammates, uh, Linus Fagamo, played in uh, Barros with me. He also played in Herning a couple years ago, three, four years ago. Uh, he told me a lot about this club, uh, his experience in Denmark. He said he loved the coach and the atmosphere and the style. So uh, when I knew I wasn't going to go back to Sweden, I thought, uh, you know, maybe try and see if Herning was an option. And uh, we called Todd, and luckily uh, we're here now. So hopefully it'll be a good year. Looking online uh, gives us a whole bunch of info on you as a hockey player with a big heart for social involvement. Uh, I know you conducted a hockey school arrangement back in your hometown of uh, Morden, Manitoba, Manitoba this July. Uh, do you plan to get involved in any social activities while you're, while you're here in Herning? Yeah, I'd love to. Uh, like I said, I put on a school uh, back in my hometown for about 45 kids, uh, just teaching them the basics, the fundamentals to skating, uh, giving them a little bit of workouts for their age group specific. Uh, just trying to want to give back to the community. That's kind of my whole thing. Uh, I like to do a lot of volunteer work. It uh, depends on the time, but it seems like we're going to have afternoon practices, so I'll be free in the morning. I hope to do some stuff uh, you know, with the community, whatever it may be. I know back in the uh, United States in college, we went and helped out with Special Olympics or we read to kids uh, in school. So those are kind of a couple of my interests, but uh, it depends how the language barrier is here. But so far, a lot of the Danish people speak pretty good English. So uh, hopefully it'll be a little better than uh, it was in Sweden. Honestly, you're quite a big guy. Uh, what's your role going to be on the team? Uh, it's to be determined right now. I think uh, we just had our first practice, a little rusty for everybody, but uh, we're going to have a good week of practice and get into a game here next week, Saturday. But uh, I think time will tell. Uh, I like to play both uh, a little offense and defense, but uh, you know, we'll see where Todd sees me fit, if he wants me to try and provide a little more offense or if he wants me to shut down other guys' top lines, then uh, whatever needs to be to get a win for the team. And as you said, it's your first time on ice this season. How was it? Oh, there was a little bit of rust, but uh, it was good. Legs felt uh, you know, a little better. We have uh, ice in North America throughout the summer, so I got to skate a little bit over there. But uh, uh, there's still a little rust, and like I said, there's a week before the first game, so that's always good. On ice, uh, what are we going to see from you in the, in, in the upcoming season, apart from, uh, apart from what you said about uh, Todd uh, uh, putting you around on, on different positions? Uh, you're going to expect me to be a physical guy. Uh, like you said, I'm a bigger guy on the back end, so I'm going to play a little more physical role, uh, making sure, clearing out the front of the net and taking care of my own end for sure. Um, I think as a defenseman, you always got to make sure that you're good in front of your own net uh, in the corners. Um, and just a guy who's always going to try and battle. Uh, I, like, I hate to lose, hate to lose one-on-one -on -one battles, so um, just going to try and fight to the bitter end. So we can conclude that the other teams are gonna get a, gonna get a fight for it. That's for sure. Uh, what what what's hard to, to adjust for you from the hockey style back home to the European way, way of hockey? Uh, it's a big difference. Uh, we did play on some Olympic ice sheets back home uh, in our conference in college, but uh, I think the biggest thing was. I don't see too many role players over here. Everybody's skilled, everybody's fast. Uh, for the majority, the guys are a little smaller, but that just goes to their quickness and stick handling ability. So they're all great playmakers and can score. So as a defenseman, you really got to be on your toes and make sure you don't get watching the puck and got to have a uh, body on everybody. So make sure you hit them. Brent, as a person without the skates after training, who are you? <laughs> Uh, that's a good question. Uh, I've been thinking about it a lot lately. Uh, I just want to be a guy wherever I end up. I'd like to have, uh, you know, I have a girlfriend. Uh, hopefully, marry her in a couple of years, have a family, and settle down. Uh, once hockey's all said and done, I'd like to stay in hockey. But uh, whatever it may be, I just want to have a have a good life and be able to provide for my family. Um, and also, I want to give back to my community and back to my hometown and wherever I'm living. Help out kids growing up playing hockey. Any hobbies or interests of, uh, of special nature you can tell us about? 
Uh, I'm a big golfer. Love to, love to golf in the summertime, so uh, hopefully we can get a round or two of golf in here before the hockey season really gets going, but we'll see. you find any similarities between golf and hockey? Uh, not too much. When you're golfing, you can sit on a golf cart and enjoy the nice weather. When you're hockey, you're, you're working hard and sweating. So, But uh, it seems like a lot of the hockey players are also good golfers, so it's a pretty common theme. Brent, lastly, welcome to Herning. I hope you're going to enjoy your stay, and we are all looking forward to see you on the ice. Perfect. Thank you very much.